Uh, welcome to ZCast, everyone. I'm Zinus Karen Valor from ZK Research, and I'm here inside the AI Sports Hub at IBM Think 2025. This is a cool facility. Sports, sports, sports everywhere. AI has become a big part of that. Yeah. I'm with Nate Larson from True Golf. Uh, Nate, I ran into True Golf for the first time at the Saster event in San Mateo sure. uh, last year, and I wanted to catch up with you guys. So, yeah. uh, first of all, a little intro on yourself and who True Golf is. Okay. Well. My name is Nate Larson. I'm the uh, Chief Experience Officer at TrueGolf. I basically run the software development side of TrueGolf and the things that our customers touch and feel. Um, and TrueGolf has been in the business for 40 years. We've been, we've been doing golf software and golf uh, simulation for many of those years. So we were one of the oldest in the industry oh. as far as golf simulation. Yeah, well, there's a ton of golf simulators on the market today. There are. In fact, I went to uh, CES this year and I swear there was a whole section just on golf sims. Sure. Uh, everything from the $200 stick that you attach to your TV to the mm -hmm. super expensive, you know, multi hundred thousand dollar system, you know, you, yeah. the pros use. And so what makes True Golf unique? Well, uh, True Golf, we like to say that we try to make golf easy for people. And we've been doing this a long, long time. I know, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I know, but we're getting close. Yeah. I mean, we're with the help of Watson X and some of the things that we're planning with our AI technology, I think it's, it is easier for people yeah. to get into golf. Um, the things that make True Golf unique is um, we're at a mid price point. We're not the most expensive, we're not the cheapest, but we, we really focus on accuracy. Um, some of the unique things to us is that we've been building this software for decades. So we feel like our software is the best looking, the most accurate. We have the most golf courses than any other software that's available. And by this September, we plan on having about 10,000 courses available. 10, so yeah, yeah, that you can play. And we're using AI to develop that as well. So, um, you know, we're, we're you always- sneak in Augusta. Uh -huh. Maybe call it Egusta. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That would be awesome. Yeah, yeah. We're working on some stuff, and yeah. maybe we'll get an opportunity to work on theirs as well. Well, they'd never let you do that. Yeah. But uh, anyway, so uh, as I mentioned, we're here at Think 2025. AI is a big part of really all sports experiences today, yeah. live or virtual. But uh, how are you working with IBM? What what parts of their product? So, are? so we're we're very early on in our in our development stage with IBM, but. Uh, last year we were here, I think you saw us at Saster. We had a larger language model um, and we didn't have a very good voice. It was very robotic, it was customer service voice, so it wasn't, it wasn't what you would expect from a golf announcer. But So this year what we've been working on is we've, been, we've used a smaller granite model um, and with the help of Instruct Lab, we were able to uh, get a development team on there, train the model specifically about golf and about the modes of play that we play. So we have tuned the model and we have an announcer, a sports announcer voice that we're actually using. And it sounds a ton better and it's more knowledgeable about golf. But more than that, we're taking it from there to uh, caddying so oh, interesting. we're learning people's games so once i know you know where you hit your shots how how your uh, shot um, dispersions are which which All side of the, the fairway yeah. you yeah, yeah. which yeah. side of the fairway you hit it on then i can start to do things like help you manage how you play on the golf course and teach people what the best way is to manage the golf course you know and score better huh. so that's that's oh, so what i can actually step. take that and apply that to real golf as well Exactly. Yes. Exactly. Huh. So the caddy, the smart caddy, is our next big feature, um, which will be available this fall, and it's going to be able to recommend clubs, recommend, you know, lay up on this hole. You know, you're going to have to hit, you know, club up one to carry the bunker on the left side, or also tell you where where to aim. You know, where to where you should be aiming. Huh. Beyond that, we have you know plans in the works for a lot of stuff, and it's going to be. I mean, our roadmap is full with IBM and the things that yeah. we want to do, but this is this is just the beginning for us. And with all the different models out there and all the different AI companies, why IBM? Well, uh, IBM, in our opinion, has the best support. I mean, they've been super supportive with us in and engaged with what we're trying to do. So, you know, I just think that it was just a good fit for us. Um, we love the stuff they're doing and and, they have a lot of golfers at IBM yeah. 
that that want us to succeed. So I feel like it's just it's a perfect partnership. Yeah, well, they're a big part of the Masters as well. Yes. Um, and so certainly golf is a big, you know, and, and in fact, of all the sports out there, there's an F1 stand over there too. And golf and F1 are probably the two most data driven. Yeah. Right. I mean, uh, in fact, I know uh, Scott Gutterman at the PGA Tour pretty well, and yeah. all the data they feed back to players if. You're on this part of the green, you're gonna likely three putt X percent of the time, yeah. right? So it's changed the way players approach the game. And sure. so I guess it might as well change the virtual experience as well. Yeah, well, yeah. it does. And and the data, knowing your data, knowing you know how you play and what you know what you do on the golf course really helps improve your game. Yeah. And there's you know just countless experiences that people have where they've they've worked on um, reducing their ball spin or Changing out a shaft. I yeah, think we yeah. just talked about that earlier. Did, yeah. Where, you know, there's so many improvements that can people make if they understand their stats. And well, that's and, what we're and trying so to do. So, this is the big, and so what we were talking about before, this has been the big aha moment for me with simulators versus driving ranges. Mm -hmm. The driving range, you hit a ball, you might be able to tell what the ball flight looks like, high, low, whatever, but yeah. you don't really know how far it went. And even if you got yeah. a track man, you, you get a little bit of data for the most part. But at a simulator, it shows you. You know, your club path, your launch angle, your yeah. backspin rate, your side spin yeah. rate. You just get so much more data. And then by tweaking your swing a little bit, you can make big changes to your game where at a driving range, you'd never really get that feedback. Exactly. The yeah. shot from the tee box landed in the bunker 16 yards from the pin. One of the things that we offer in our simulators too is that um, we call it instant impact. So we're showing, because we're a camera based system, we're actually showing the ball compress at impact and we're measuring everything off of that. So there are shots that you hit that I promise you've hit on the driving range and you wonder what happened, what's going on there, or you get a little bit of a slice or you get a, you know, a little bit. Shots. And, <laughs> but all of a sudden you see it and you realize, oh, I'm hitting it off the, the heel or I'm hitting oh. it too far off the toe. And you, there's the visual impact combined with the, with the, uh, um, the, uh, tactile experience that really, once you connect that, you, yeah. you see what you're doing and then also feel what you're doing, it changes the way that you play. Because you know what you did by feel rather than by sight yeah. or by just guessing, right? Well, that makes sense, yeah. yeah. All right, so before I go in and take a few swings, anything else you want to add? Um, yeah, buy a True Golf simulator. Yeah, 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 Get our right. software. So, if people want to learn more about True Golf, the website is truegolf.com. True truegolf.com. Golf well, that's easy. Yeah. yeah. All right. So, I'm Abby Nate Larson from True Golf from ZS Caraval from ZK Research. Uh, thanks for watching. Hit the subscribe button, and I'll see you on my next episode of CCast.